Dude, stop it. Okay, we're going. That's gonna be bloopers. 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 No time for bloopers. Ow, you poke me in the ear. Okay, come on. Stop messing around. Stop messing. Hey, everybody. It's Jeff. And Bob here on... All I Think Positive. So have you guessed it already? Today is... Mardi Gras! Or Fat Tuesday. Mardi Gras Fat Tuesday. We have our masks on. We're going to post this for Yay! Wacky Wednesday. We have some cool Mardi Gras things we're going to share with you here on Always Think Positive. So, hey, everybody. We're back. With our masks on. Yeah. It's Wacky Wednesday, but we are, um, we, <laughs> dude. Never saw that. <laughs> you goofy. Hey, so today is, um, we're filming this on Mardi Gras. So Mardi Gras, a.k.a. Fat, Fat Tuesday. Tuesday, is a culmination of carnival. And carnival means it's Latin root, something along the lines of, um, the removal of meat and flesh. Yeah. So usually um, for those who celebrate Lent on Ash Wednesday, you don't meet, eat meat. Um, what do we do, uh, Jeff, for uh, Fat Tuesday, a tradition that we do in our family? We get to eat ice cream with one candy in it. Ice cream for dinner? Yeah. That's <laughs> pretty cool. Hey, in some countries, it's called Chauve Tuesday. Chauve? I don't know. To like confess. shove a friend to No, say? it's actually it's actually to confess or um, to refer to getting going to confession um, at the beginning of Lent. Pretty cool, I guess. Um, Mardi Gras came in history of where on earth <laughs> uh, did you get that? Um, in 1582 by Pope Pope Gregory the Thirteenth. Do you feel educated now? Yes. Jeff, tell me where the most famous uh, celebrated place in the United States is uh, for Mardi Gras. Orleans. New Orleans, yes. We've been down there. It's actually pretty, it's a big, big party. Um, I think it's probably safe not to go. It's better not to go. But, you know, other places are Rio, Rio de, de Janeiro, um, yeah. Germany, um, Italy, Trinidad, and Mexico as well. Um, I wonder if one of our great uh, followers, uh, Pino, will yeah. actually um, comment if they had um, Mardi Gras parties in their home state. Um, traditional colors. What are Mardi Gras traditional colors? Everybody knows this. Black. No! Purple and gold. I did not know that. Yes, yeah, some king picked these colors because he wanted it to be purple for justice and gold for power. Right? Masks. Why are masks worn? Because we have identities. You know, it is kind of that. Actually, <laughs> masks were worn during the celebrations to skate, escape from the class um, constraints. So back in the day, a lot of people like had money, like they didn't do fun, crazy things, or they were restricted to what they could do. So this way, people would wear masks, so you didn't know if they were the famous ones or the rich ones or the local, you know, the, the yeah. low class ones yeah. or low poor ones. Yeah. Um, Mardi Gras now has a king of the carnival. It's called Rex. Who right? is Rex? I don't know. They pick somebody new every year, and um, usually that person or that that person who represents it has the key to the city. Yeah. So here on Always Think Positive, um, it is uh, Ash Wednesday and um, Wacky Wednesday. Yeah. We probably shouldn't connect Wacky Wednesday and Ash Wednesday together, but we do like posting Wacky Wednesday, and this kind of applies with uh, Jeff in his big nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, you put me right in the ear. You deserved that. Well, thanks for watching here on Always Been Positive. <laughs> Even with you have a nose like that. <laughs> Cut. Beep.